Hello everybody, this is Tech Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts, and what you're looking at tonight is going to be an awesome, awesome coin haul. But, it's a different one, a totally different one, one that I really like. What you're looking at is 19 and a half, well actually 19 rolls and 22 undated Buffalo Nickels. And what I'm going to be doing with that is, of course, this. Nicodating. But first, what I have to do with all of these is sort them, see which ones have mint marks, which ones have questionable mint marks, and which ones I'm certain have no mint marks. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, what you're looking at right now is my broken tripod. This part here just literally broke off the top of it. That's what I've been using. Oh, that stinks. I mean, it was a cheap one anyway. It lasted me quite a while, so I guess I should be happy with that. Um, however, I have already started the first roll. What I'm going to do is do one roll per video. So it'll be like 19 videos to get through all these, uh, which probably makes sense because it's going to take a little while. I already started sorting the first one. These are with mint mark, not sure about the mint mark, and no mint mark. So I'm going to finish sorting those ones right there, and I'll be back. Okay, I got those sorted. I do have a D and an S here. This one here is a possible. Let me show you this one here real quickly. So you can see there is something there. And I can't make out if that is a D or an S. It's most likely just a D, but I'm going to indicate it anyway just to confirm. And that is what we got for now. So we got two there and... 11 questionable, so there should be about 27 in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, Nicodate set up with the bowl of water, the glove, the Q-tips, all that, and I'll be right back. Okay, what I just did with these here is I checked them all for dates to see if there was any with dates on them, because sometimes you still get a partial date on there. You can tell what it is, such as this one right here. That one there I would definitely say is in 1929, but the question on this is... I believe that is a D. That does look more and more like a D. So we're going to call that a 1929D right there. So now we're going to look at this one here that also has a partial date on it. And that I would want to say is a 1920, but very hard to say. Could be even be a 21. And of course we have a question on the mint mark as well. And the last one that I have a partial date on here, this one here I would definitely say is a 1920. But the mint mark can't tell if there is one in there and the only reason why I'm curious about this is I've seen the mint mark below the E and the C before it isn't always right up in here sometimes it's down in here so that's why I'm going to nicodate that one so I'm going to go through the ones with no mint marks and see what we get there okay everybody I went through these two stacks here and I have these ones laid out and look what we got here this is pretty good sorry about that I have to hold the camera but as you know the tripod broke tonight. So that's in 1927 Philadelphia. That'll go in the good pile. This one here, 1929. Actually, a really good date. A little scratched up. But as you can tell, it's 1927 Philadelphia. That's three so far. I don't have to nick a date. And the next one here, this one here, I want to say that is definitely a 1920. You know what? I'm not sure if that's 1920 or 1921. So that one I am going to put back in the pile. So we're not too sure on that one. Let's see here. Whoops, sorry. Hit that. Let's get this. And that is definitely a 1920. So that's four I don't have to nicodate. Another one. And that is definitely, I would say, a 1929. Just by the look of it. Um, I don't think there's any way that could be a five. At all. So that I'm calling a 19. That's five of them so far. Now this one here I put to the side. In for good reason. Look at this. I don't know if this thing has been nicodated or not. I don't think so. I'm going to try it anyway and see what happens. It's definitely heavily, heavily worn. But we're going to check it out anyway. So we have five so far. Those five right there that do not have to nicodate. So I got these ones here. Should be 35 coins here. We're going to nicodate these. Place them on there. Dry them, swab them, all that good jazz. I'm going to set up the first probably nine. And I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. I actually got 12 on here. <clears throat> And these two here, we know already know, are uh, a D and an S. I think it's D and S. Now I'm moving around so many times. The rest of these ones here are the ones that I have to check the back on. And those will be the only ones that I have to do both sides on, as the only ones that are left are those ones right there that I only have to do the fronts on. So this might be uh, three sets of 12-ish, somewhere around there. But I'm going to go ahead and nicodate these, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, these have been nicodated. They've been cleaned off. Let's see what we got. We're going to go from here all the way around and do the top two last. Yeah, this way. Here we go. First one up, we have a 1918, and these are the ones with questionable mint marks, so they still got to be hit in the back. So we'll check that out. Let's see here. Next one up is a, we got a 1920. Again, unsure on the mint mark. Number three is a 1920. Number four is a 19 ooh i can almost see what looks like a four in there that's hard to say might have to try that one again we'll put that one to the side let's see number five yikes i can almost see a two in there might take a look close look at that one as well number six yikes nothing there that i can see of at all Number seven. There we go, nineteen sixteen. Number eight is a nineteen twenty. Hopefully you guys can see it. Get a little closer there for you. Hopefully you can see that nice twenty in there. Number nine is a 1918 sure you can see that one clear as day number 10 i can almost see a two in there possible four i'm going to pull that one to the side redo that one and these ones here are the ones that have the mint marks so let's take a look we have a 1919 and the mint mark on that one there was an s and the last one for this round here is a yikes unknown denver so we're going to try these five here over again these ones we already know what they are so they can just come off they are done we're going to do those five over see if we have actually these ones here i have to leave at the bottom because guess what i still got to check the mint marks on these i almost forgot so this one, we know for a fact what that is that's going up there. I'm going to do these five here over and be right back. What I've gone and done in order to save some time is the ones that I already know the dates on. <clears throat> flip them over and I already got the Nicodate working on the mint marks. So we'll see what the, how that comes up. Now this one here I did really small. This one here I did really large. I want to see the difference on what they look like. If this looks a little bit better than what that comes out as. We'll find out. Be right back. Okay, these have already been nicodated and cleaned off and all that good jazz. So let's take a look. This is one of the ones that we did a double, um, looked at it, uh, nicodated it twice, excuse me. You can almost make out a date there, but after two times, I mean, I almost see 1910, and I know there wasn't a 1910, so that is definitely just going to be a no-date Denver, because on the back of it, actually, let me show you, it does have the Denver mint mark right down there, as you can see. So that'll be a no-date Denver. The next one up that we nicodated twice is, let's see here, I almost want to say that's a three right here, but I don't know. Looks like that could be a one, and it looks like that could be a one there as well, so I would call that a, a no-date as well. Let's take a look here. The third one that we had to re -nicodate. Now this one here is in 1924. You can see it right here, a two and a four right there. So that is a 24, so that's good. We got one date out of it. Still have to check the other side for the mint mark though, however. Let's take that one, put it over here. And then we'll take the fourth one, put that up and see what we got. That one did come out nicely. That is a 1919. Hope you guys can see it a little bit there the way the light is that is a 1919 and again we have to check these for the mint mark and the fifth one that we're renicodated let's see here Oof, looking kind of rough but I almost think I see a three in there I would say 1913 almost hard to say yeah I can actually see the three 
Let's see if I get something to point with here. I don't because my finger is really fat. You can see the three right there and the one, the nine and the one right there, 1913. But that one also needs to have be checked for a mint mark as well. well. Hold on. Maybe not. That one does not need to be checked. So that one went over to 1913. Okay, now on the bottom six, I checked all the mint marks. I already looked at them all. There's no mint marks. But I did want to show you is this is one I did the little daub on. As you can see, just in the middle, there is no mint mark. But this is the one I did the large daub on. And in a way, it came out a little bit better looking. Still no mint mark, but I think it does look a little bit better. I don't know. Either way, it's been nicotated. It's altered. It decreases the value of the coin either way. I was just kind of doing that for experimental purposes. Uh, this, These ones here, we're going to go ahead and check and see if we have any mint marks. And I'll be right back. Okay, all the previous batches are over here. None of those had any mint marks on them. So I just went and stacked them over there. Um, we have the next 12 already set up. I'm going to go ahead and nicodate them, and I'll be right back. Now, first of all, I want to show you how not to nicodate. Look at that. I just totaled those two there for some reason. I don't know what the heck happened, but I totally butchered it. That one there is kind of bad as well. The other ones aren't too bad. Still a little heavy-handed on the nicodate, but definitely got better toward the end. As soon as these are ready, I'll clean them off, wipe them down, and show you what we got. Okay, these have been nicodated, and we're going to start from up here, and we're going to take a look and see what we got. Let's see here, we have a nice 1920 right there. That came out really well. There's another one. One there is, I can see a 7 in there. That second digit is definitely eluding me. I can definitely see a 7. Might have to do that one again. Let's see number 3. That is in 1914. Number four. 1918. Love and seeing these early teens. Number five. 1916. Excellent. Number six. Ooh. I can almost see a 1913 there. I might do that one more time. Put those two up there to the side. Let's see. Number seven is a 1919 you can see that one right there number eight is another 1914 all right number nine is a i want to say that is another 1919 number 10 of this batch is a 1918 right there Number 11, whoops, I love when that happens. Number 11 is a 1916, came out really nice. And the last one on this batch is a, yikes, I don't know. That could be a 9, it's hard to say. I might try those three again that are up top there. And these ones are all set to go, I'll be right back. These three here are getting treated again. I'm going to clean them off in just a few seconds here and give them a good rub with the toothpick, uh, toothpick, yeah, uh, Q-tip, and I'll let you know what we get. Okay, they've been rinsed and rubbed, and let's see what we got here. The first one here, definitely a 1919. That is great. And the second one here, yep, that is a 1917. It's very hard to see. Hopefully you can see it right here. There's the one right there in the seven. Not bad. Let's see the last one here. And that one there, I am definitely going to say is a 1913. Whoops. Sorry about that. There we go. Let's take a look. As you can see, the one right there in the three. So not bad. We got all 12 dates on that. I'm going to clear off this area, set up a new one, and be right back. Okay, everybody, these 12 here have already been nicodated. Let's take a look and see what we got. And that is a 1915. All right, it's one good day. Second one. Yeeks. Uh, I think I see a three in there. Possibly a 23. That one's hard to say. We'll take another look at that one. 
The third one up is a 1916. It's two. Let's see number four here. Yikes. I almost want to see that's either an eight or a three. Hard to say. We'll take a look at that one again. Number five. 1915. It's three good dates so far. Number six is a 19 yeah i don't know it's got a big gouge on it ring of death in it was definitely a an ender at one time that's unfortunate not gonna bother re-nicodating that one let's see number seven very nice 1919 there's five good dates so far or four actually one with a gouge in it a 17 nice Loving these teens. Okay, next one up. Another 1917. Got three to go. 1919. That came out really nice, too. And two to go. Let's see here. Second last one. Another 1916. All right. And the last one here. Yikes. Okay, so we're going to have... These three here, I'm going to hit one more time. I'm going to look at them under the scope one more time before I decide to do it, and I'll be right back. Yeah, everybody, I was re-looking at these here again, and this one here, I am positive, is a 1913. Hopefully, you guys can see it as much as I can. It is a 1913. I can see it. It's just very, very hard. I'm not going to re nicodate this one. I'm just going to do these two here. I'm going to nicodate them, rinse them, clean them off, and let you see what we got. Okay, everybody, these two are here, ready to take a look, see what we got. That one there, I still think I see a 3 and a 1, but it could even be a 6 or an 8, I don't know. No date. This one here, hmm, again, could be a 3 or a 5. No date. Well, that's going to wrap it up for these here. We did one roll, and uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Got to say, what? All but maybe five with dates, not too bad. Well, that'll wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any opinions on the coins, please let me know. And until next time, happy hunting.